Can you do better on the price? Somebody else did it cheaper last year. Can you throw this or that in for the same price or they need it done tomorrow and they still expect a discount of some sort? Whether they're asking for a better price or their demands go outside of your normal scope of service, customers like this are most likely gonna require more work more effort on your part. They're going to cause more stress for you and they are going to eat into your time and into your profit margin. And yeah, we all know that customers are the lifeblood of our business and without them, we have nothing. So it's really important to avoid the bad ones. So if you're constantly attracting time wasters, price shoppers, and the tire kickers, it's probably time to reevaluate how you're finding them, how they're finding you, and what you need to do to change all of that, which is what we're going to talk about today. Look, the frustration is common when you own a business. You have a limited time in your day because you have a lot to do. You're wearing a bunch of different hats and attracting cheap time-wasting customers is usually a direct result of ineffective marketing strategies that fail to target the right audience. So we are going to touch on three ways you can change that so you can connect with more of the customers you actually enjoy working with who aren't going to suck and who are not going to have an issue with understanding and seeing the value that you offer, which directly equates to non-cheap ass customers that know your worth. So right now, do me a favor and comment down below, know your worth. Not only is this an affirmation for your business, but when you leave a comment, it helps the channel out by telling the algorithmic gods that this is a decent video. So help a brother out. And if you stick around until the very end, I'm gonna share with you a recent text exchange with a less than ideal customer that you might either get a kick out of or you might think I'm a complete jerk. Either way, I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is define who your ideal customer is. And you do this by asking one simple question. Who is my ideal customer? So I want you to take a second and I want you to think about who that ideal customer is. I want you to identify the characteristics of the customers that you want to work with. And I'm going to tell you a few of the traits that I look for in a second, but ask yourself this about your ideal customers. Are they from a specific demographic? Do they live in a specific area or do they share other common traits? I have a very specific customer type. It's somebody with money. It's somebody who doesn't want to do stuff themselves. Yes, they can, but no, they won't. They have the ability to pay someone to do it. They value their time more than the money it takes to get whatever it is they want done, done. And this is the perfect customer in my opinion. And here are a few of the traits they all have in common, all of which help you determine where to find them and how to market to them. So please take notes. Okay, they are all homeowners or they are property managers. Now, my ideal customers, they own residential properties or they manage commercial properties like apartment complexes, hotels, restaurants, all of which require regular cleaning and maintenance, okay? They also value quality and professionalism. They prioritize quality service and professionalism over only focusing on the cheapest price because they understand the importance of hiring a reputable and a reliable company. And there are a lot of things that come with that. How you look, how you act, how you talk. Are you insured? Do you have all the things in place that you need to have in place that communicates that you are the one that they need to hire? Another trait is they've got regular maintenance needs and they recognize the importance of regular maintenance to preserve the appearance and the life of their property. And people that understand the importance of these things are also more likely to schedule recurring appointments to keep the property clean and well-maintained. And that's the type of person that we want. Now, there are a bunch of qualities that these customers all share, but the last one I'm going to mention is they are concerned about property value. They know that this is likely one of the largest investments and they are invested in maintaining or enhancing the value of their property. They understand that regular pressure washing can improve curb appeal and increase property value. And they aren't scared to pull out the wallet to make sure that this happens. Okay. So the next thing that we want to talk about, we know who they are, right? Now we need to know where these folks are, right? How are you going to locate your ideal customer? And it's crucial to pinpoint both the online and the offline spaces where your ideal customers are most active. Do they frequent particular social media platforms? Is it Facebook? Is it Google? Is it Instagram or TikTok? Probably not those last two, but it might be next door. It might be LinkedIn. Find them, target them. And I'm going to tell you a new way that I've been getting a bunch of leads on Facebook and Google in a couple minutes, but obviously finding where they are online, it's going to be huge, right? And then you want to figure out if they read specific publications, are there community magazines? 
magazines where they live, uh, newspapers that they read, trade magazines, print marketing still works, okay? We're about to start a new 20,000 piece per month mailer campaign uh, this month, and it is targeted to a very specific demographic in a very specific location, and I think it's going to work really well. And then on the commercial side of things, are there any events, organizations, trade shows in your area that you can participate in where prospective customers might be? Are there any associations or organizations that you can join to get closer to the people that you want to get closer to? Whether this is property managers, facility managers, apartment community managers, there are associations for all of these. All you have to do is a little research, figure out where they are, who they are, who runs them, and how you can be a part of them. And this could be very beneficial to your business. So knowing who your customers are, obviously very important. Knowing where they are and where they might find your business is equally important. And this insight enables you to focus your marketing efforts precisely where your ideal customers are, rather than casting a really wide net, crossing your fingers, and hope that someone that you actually want to see your message see your message. This targeted approach is both efficient and effective, which takes us into step three, which is to craft the perfect marketing message. And this is when you ask yourself, what should your marketing message convey? Now, your answer in a textbook or a Google search is simple, but really doesn't help here that much, I don't think. But what it would say is your marketing message should resonate with the goals, desires, problems, and frustrations of your ideal customers. It should feel like a personalized conversation addressing their unique needs, okay? That's all well and good, but what does that really mean? So for example, a business targeting premium customer should have a professional website designed with high quality pictures, videos, verbiage that conveys a high quality professional business, which is going to appeal to your target audience. Uh, you want to make sure that the customer experience is as easy and painless as possible. And most importantly, as quick as possible. If they find you, they find you for a reason. They have intent to purchase and they want to move forward. And with that being said, you need to set yourself up for success. Obviously, you've got a website and you could have a contact form on there or a quote form on your website, but that really does nothing more than just collect information, which then allows you to reach back out to them. Uh, they don't want that. Um, if they get that, they're likely going to move on, which is why we built InstaQuote, which allows them to quote themselves, schedule themselves, get it done, get it out of the way so they can get on with their day. My ideal customer is busy and they're not wasting time calling six different companies to get a quote. They're going to go with the one that has the most reviews, that has the most professional appearance. It makes it easy for them to schedule and get a quote. And that's what they want. So if you do that, you're one step ahead of everybody else in your market. And look, I know there are a bunch of service businesses out there and they are all running ads on Facebook and everybody has different budgets. Some are high, some are low, uh, different ad spends. And quite honestly, most every single one of those ads look exactly the same. There is nothing that differentiates one from the other, but there is something that I've started to do recently, which has completely changed the game as far as how I'm running my Facebook ads. And that is running video ads. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to run a little video right here and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so we'll just take a second. Do you want your home or driveway to look brand new again? Then get that dirty mess cleaned up with the latest soft washing and pressure washing techniques by your company name. Removing the mold, mildew, and other surface pollutants not only increases the curb appeal, but... So obviously that's not the whole thing, but it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point, it conveys exactly what we want to convey, which is addressing the points that we know our customers have. And we've got our company branding, a nice voiceover, it's customized for our business. And you can get one of these for your business too, if you want, uh, or pretty much any service out there. We've got it from pressure washing, lawn care, mobile detailing, dryer vent cleaning, roof cleaning, you name it. We probably have one. And we're also offering 30% off with promo code spring at qiqads.com. These things absolutely crush, but there is also a free training video on that website that shows you exactly what you need to do. If you don't want to spend the money on a professional ad, take what we teach, implement it, copy the script exactly, uh, implement it in your own business, record it, edit it, voice it over and run your ads. And I promise that you're going to see amazing results. Video ads really do work and they really do set you apart from everybody else in your market that's running boring ass ads. But obviously the secret sauce is identifying the pain points, right? Figuring out how you can convey your company's ability to solve the pain points. You do it in a quick and efficient and professional manner, and you're going to see a significant increase in the quality of your customers and a higher conversion rate as well, because this type of message speaks directly to your intended audience. So we've gone over those three things, right? And it's time to implement. 
right? So you can just watch, you can just consume, but if you don't do anything with the information, nothing is going to get better. You're not going to get more business. Your customers are going to continue to suck. Your money is going to continue to be the same. It's going to suck. Your profit margins are going to remain the same. You're going to be dealing with the same tire kickers that you always have. And who wants that? Nobody wants that. And I'm about to share with you that text exchange with a horrible customer or not a customer because, well, you'll see in a second. But what I want you guys to do is look at all the marketing that you're doing. Figure out what's working. Uh, figure out what's not working. Uh, who is it attracting? And then ask yourself, is that who you want to attract? And do the same thing with your website, your social media platforms. Make the changes needed to speak directly to who your ideal customer is, right? Tailor your content, tailor your visuals and all of your messaging to that customer, right? That ideal customer. This strategic shift is the approach that's going to transform your business. And it's going to allow you to attract more of the customers that you're going to love working with. Right. And now I'm going to show you the text message. Okay. So I got this the other day, this dude got one of my mass emails. Um, and I had said that there was a 20% discount for a spring special. And we all know how those discounts really work. So we called our number. My service took the message. They related over to me. I looked up the house on quote IQ and I sent him a text and told him that we could clean his house for $250. His response, thanks. Still more too much. And I said, you have a 2000 square foot home. You were trying to get an estimate for cleaning it. $250 to protect one of your largest investments. We are licensed. We are insured. We have been in business for 20 years. I live in the same neighborhood as you do and have for the past 19 years. Will you please humor me and tell me what you expect to pay? Okay. Then there was a bit of a delay. And then he responded, I don't expect anything. I can clean it myself. A company cleaned outside of house a couple of years ago for much less. Yes, I know inflation, times change, et cetera. I'm not willing to pay $250. Thanks for your time. Now, I probably should have just let it go, but I am who I am. And so I said, let me ask you this. How long will it take you to clean your house? And what's your time worth? Just playing devil's advocate. The answer is you would be there all weekend. <laughs> Again, a long delayed response. He, he then finally messages me back. I may not want to consider your services in the future. Okay, it's not your choice. It was mine and you're never going to be my customer. So I replied back, your answer already made it clear you're not a customer. Best of luck and I've unsubscribed you from our email list. So would I recommend that type of response for anybody watching this? Absolutely not. Uh, so do not do that. Yes, it was kind of a jerk thing to do, uh, but he is not my customer. He never will be. And I'm sure people out there are thinking to themselves right now, well, he can talk bad about your company. He can leave a bad review, blah, blah, blah. Well, he can talk bad about my company, uh, but I'm pretty sure the people that he associates with are probably not people that I want to deal with, or they know that he's a real cheap ass. Regardless, attracting the right customers hinges on understanding their customer profile, right? Knowing where to find them and tailoring your marketing message to address their specific needs in a way that is different than your competition. Engage them, make them want to call you. So take what you will from this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.